Hello, this is Rob Capucci. I'd like to thank you for joining us for another PT on the Net video interview. Today we're going to talk about what happens when our members come into us and they have a goal but they also present with pain which limits what aspects of our program design strategies that they're able to implement to get the greatest amount of results in the least amount of time and avoid further injury as well. Joining us in this conversation today we have Deb Karch and we also have Sue Hitzman who is the founder of Longevity Fitness and the creator of the MELT method as well as an international speaker and author. Now Sue, somebody comes in and depending on which text you read 80 to 85 percent of the population present with lower back pain and they have these audacious goals related to performance enhancement or physical augmentation, fat loss if you will. Okay. What do we do with these people though whose pain is a very big obstacle from where they are and where they want to be? Yeah, I mean that's a really big question because it is true, I think the majority of people that we're going to work with today have some type of chronic pain and if you just apply regular exercise to them you could actually increase that risk of hurting them more. Um, I think what most people don't know about pain is that even though we associate pain with like muscle ache or joint problems, there's a, an actual other system of the body that's causing pain and recent research is showing that the majority of the pain that we sense or feel is being caused by our connective tissue. To, um, becoming dehydrated and our nervous system not functioning appropriately. So some of the new research that I've been really privileged to be a part of is on what we call neurofascial science and what we're understanding about the connective tissue is that's the system of the body that supports, protects, and stabilizes all aspects of the body. And the majority of our sensory nervous system is embedded in the connective tissue layers. So when the connective tissue becomes dehydrated, that's when chronic inflammation increases and that inhibits it's our own sense of where we're at in space. We, we aren't really sure where our joints are. And just from day-to-day -day living, just from the activities that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, if that, if that persists, we, we actually cause more chronic issues and more chronic pain to occur. So most people who have low back pain, it's really nothing more than just dehydrated connective tissue in a nervous system that's not able to really sense where their joints are. And what, what we talk about this uh, dehydrated connective tissue is that it's like a dry sponge. And when that dry sponge occurs, when there's no water there, it not only can't provide cushion, but it's constantly sending a message to your brain of saying, help me out here. You know, it's, it's sending that pain message for a reason because it, that area needs to be rehydrated. So what are one or two things that we can do about it? Well, what, what I do as a manual therapist, I mean, most people would go to see a hands-on body worker if you really had issues with your connective tissue. So going to see a Rolfer or a cranial sacral therapist or something um, would be a, a very advantageous thing for someone to do. But in the fitness industry, what I've developed is a hands-off treatment technique I call the melt method. And uh, we use a soft roller instead of those uh, firm rollers for myofascial release. This is a much softer roller to simulate the benefits. And some yeah, and, and some small treatment balls for the hands and feet to simulate the, the benefits and, and uh, results of hands-on body work. So you can actually teach your clients how to self-treat their connective tissue and rehydrate this tissue to decrease the quantity of pain that's in their body. And also it realigns the joints so that this is a great technique to do just before you would do a workout so that you're actually improving their performance. And it's also a great technique to do after you work out so that you decrease all of the joint compression that occurs from like running or any kind of activity. And what, what's interesting is it's actually, it's not really about the roller or about the balls. These, these techniques were, you know, like Sue said, developed from her manual, her manual therapy practice and she used every type of toy prop every you know sure. all different types of things and really created something that had the right density so that it could mimic her hands and so it's really you know it's not about the roller it's what the techniques that you do on the roller to specifically address that dehydration the connective tissue and quiet down the nervous system so that your body is ready not just for your workout but for your day and your life and good rest and all of this okay it's simple. well for those of us who don't have access to our very own Sue Hitzman, where can we get one of these? You can go to meltmethod.com and you can learn all about the technique and the, and the easy treatments that we have. Um, there's products available and also a lot of tutorials. You can go to YouTube and type in Melt Method and see some of the techniques there for free. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you.